New moth species discovered in Madagascar has the longest tongue of any insect. The moth, called Azanthopan pridicta, or Wallace's sphinx moth, has a tongue that stretches nearly one foot long. While studying the long-necked Madagascar star orchid in 1862, Charles Darwin suddenly had an exciting thought. Some insects, he mused, must have a tongue long enough to feed on the plant. Good heavens, he exclaimed to a friend, what insect can suck it? Though such a moth, called Wallace's sphinx moth, or Xanthopan morgani pridicta, was subsequently identified in 1903, it was categorized as a subspecies of the Morgan sphinx moth, a hawk moth found in Africa. Now researchers say that the two moths are different species. Of all their differences, their tongue lengths are the most striking. While Morgan's sphinx moth has a tongue length of about three inches, Wallace's sphinx moth tongue stretches nearly one foot. Now dubbed Xanthopan pridicta, the moth has the longest tongue of any known insect. Imagine my excitement as I unrolled and measured the proboscis, tongue of a male xanthopan in the Madagascar rainforest, realizing that it was probably the global record holder, exclaimed Dr. David Lees, a moth curator at the National History Museum in London, and one of the authors on a recent paper about the moth. He added, the taxonomic change we now propose finally gives long-deserved recognition at the species level to one of the most celebrated of all Malagsky endemics. In other words, Darwin was right. Alongside Joel Minnett, a entomologist at the Institut de Systematique, Evolution Biodiversite in Paris, Lees examined the differences between Morgan's sphinx moth and Wallace's sphinx moth. The latter was named for British naturalist Alfred Wallace Russell, who, like Darwin, speculated that a moth had evolved to feed on Madagascar star orchids. That such a moth exists in Madagascar may be safely predicted, and naturalists who visited the island should search for it with as much confidence as astronomers search for the planet Neptune, Russell declared, and they'll be equally successful. Though the subsequently named Xanthopan morgani pridicta, or predicted moth, was thought to be a subspecies of Morgan sphinx moth, Lees and Manette determined that they're actually different species. For starters, the two moths have a 7.6% genetic difference. This is much more than what you would expect between different species, Lee explained. Lee's and Minette identified 25 physical differences as well, including the moth's tongues. To determine their length, researchers dipped moth specimens from around the world in water overnight. Then they carefully unrolled and measured the tongues. On average, the tongue of Wallace's sphinx moth was 6.6 .6 centimeters longer than Morgan's sphinx moth. Because the tongues were too long to be displayed, Researchers subsequently rolled them back into the moth's heads. In addition, Lees and Minette identified other differences between Morgan's sphinx moth and Wallace's sphinx moth. The two moths have different male-female genitalia, wing shapes, and color patterns. The underside of the hawk moth from Madagascar is pinkish, while the underside of the hawk moth from Africa is whitish or yellowish, explained Lees. Though there are hundreds of species of similar hawk moths in the tropics, Wallace's sphinx moth is found only in Madagascar. There, it's evolved to have a close relationship with the Madagascar star orchid. The moth's long tongue can be hazardous, however. It cannot fly with its tongue extended. The moth only extends its tongue once it lands on an orchid, and the moth is vulnerable to predators like bats. Still, Wallace's sphinx moth seems to have flourished in Madagascar, where researchers found that moths across the island have the same DNA. The fact that I found one of these moths in a remote forest in the southwest of Madagascar suggests it can fly hundreds of kilometers, Lee explained. In that way, Wallace's sphinx moth embodies many of Darwin's theories of evolution. After evolving to feed on the Madagascar star orchid, its long tongue allowed it to survive and thrive in the jungle. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com